Okay, hello everyone. All right, so um, now that we have um, a sense of the order of operation or operator precedence, let's uh, use that idea to figure out how to cr uh, calculate an average. An average of, for example, let's say scores or an average of anything uh, in general. Um, let's try to create a, a simple program or a small program to um, kind of enforce the idea of order of operation or operator precedence. Right, so the way you find an average is, first of all, assuming we wanted to find an average of three test scores or four test scores or any number of test scores, you, there are two things. You first of all find the sum of all the scores. Okay, so if you have three t test scores and the first score is 50 and the second test score is 50 and the third test score is, th is 50, you add all the scores together so 50 plus 50 plus 50 which gives you 150 so that's the first thing you find the sum of all the scores and then the second thing is you divide the sum by the number of scores now in, the, in my example there are three test scores and so you divide the sum which is the, to the total which is 150 by the number of test scores three right so 150 divided by three gives us the average and, and so how do we kind of create that in our, in our program, enforcing order of operation, making sure it's working properly. All right, so let's um, let's create the program and then we'll have a better sense of where I'm going with this. So let's use the input function to prompt the user to enter, okay, score one. Assuming we wanted to find the average of three test scores, right? Well, let's let's create four test scores, okay? So we can have um, a better a better um, like we can have another um, of a variation. So we enter, we ask the user to enter score one. So we know the input function is going to display this message to the user, and then it's going to allow the user to type in something. Now, whatever the user types is going to be returned by the input function as a string. So even if the user types in a, a number, of course, the user is going to type in a score, right? So even if the user types in a score, let's say 50.8, the 50.8 is going to be returned back to us as a string, okay? It's going to return back to, I think I mentioned that it's going to return it back to us as a number, right? Um, maybe, maybe I didn't, all right. So if, if the user types a number, that number is going to be returned by the input function to us as a string, right? But the thing is, we are going to perform some math operations on that value, and we don't need it as a string. So before we use it in, in our math, we need to make sure that that string has been converted to a number. and the way we can, remember we talked about nested functions, we can convert this number to a number, in, in, to be specific, a float, a floating point value, float. So we can wrap the float function around the input function, which means that whatever is being returned back to us as a string is going to be converted to a float, right? And the float function is going to return that float value, okay, that floating point value, back to us as a float, whatever the user typed back to us as a float. And so when, it re when it's returning it back to us as a float, we need a place to store it. And so I'm going to store that in a variable and I'm going to call it score one. So score one is going to re store whatever the user has typed, which is initially being returned to us as a string by the input function, converted to a float by the float function. Float function is going to return that float value back to us in score one. Now the same idea, we can use the same idea for score two, score three, score and score four because we remember we are dealing with four scores right so change the variable to score two and then we end we tell the user to enter score two right we receive that from the user it's going to be initially it's going to initially come to us as a string we convert it to a float and we store it in a variable same idea for score three we tell the user to enter score three they type it we store the value in the variable score three same idea for score four we tell the user to enter score four we store the value in the variable score four. All right, next, remember we, for to find an average, you first of all find the sum of all the scores, right? So we can go ahead and add all the scores. So score one plus score two plus score three plus score four. And we know that this calculation over here is going to give us the the, the sum of all the scores. So we can call this total score. And so total score is going to store the sum of all the scores. If you want, it doesn't really, in this case, it doesn't, it won't make a difference, right? Because 
we are dealing with plus we are dealing with a plus here addition okay and addition is the only thing we have here so it doesn't matter it's going to just calculate it all all at once we don't have all the operators in here so we don't have you don't have to surround it with, with parentheses if, parentheses but if you surround it with parentheses nothing is going to happen but we don't have to because we are only dealing with, dealing with addition all right so we'll have the total score here and then we know that we have to to find an average we have to divide the, the total score by the number of scores in this case we're dealing with four scores and so we can either store that value which is the number of scores in a variable or we can directly type it in our code so this is what I mean we can go ahead and create a variable called number of scores and we know we are dealing with four scores so we can store the number four here right and then to find our average we can if we, we to find our average we divided the, the total score right by the number of scores okay so we can create a variable called average and then that's going to be equal to the total score okay by the number of scores now you can do this certainly and it's correct right but uh, we, over here we, we saw that we had to we, we over here we saw that we had to kind of do it in three steps first of all get the total score get a number of scores and then divide it here sometimes you may want to div uh, calculate all of that in one line remember we talked about um, auto, the other uh, operator precedence and how we perform math calculations or math create math expressions with different operators you can do it all in one line can't find an average all in one line so you can do something like this instead of doing it separately we can create you can find the average directly and say that score one I wasn't supposed to delete it but just to be clear okay just for you to understand I, I had to do this so we can say score one plus score two we know to find average is the sum of all the scores divided by the total of the total of the scores so score score one score two score three score four right you may be tempted to see that okay now you have all your scores I mean, all, 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 the, all the, the sum of all your scores, right? You've added all, all of them together. You may be tempted to do something like this, divided by the total of the scores, which we know is four. You can even go ahead and, like we did, you know, previously, we can store the total number of scores in a variable. We can call it total number of scores. Right, you can do that. And then we can store four, because we know we are dealing with four scores, right? So after you've calculated it over here, after you've, after you've calculated the sum this way, you may be tempted to kind of divide it by the total number of scores, because, because that's how to find the average, right? It's the sum of all the scores divided by the total number of scores. But remember about, remember all the order of operation? It's going to go through the expression, and then it's going to, basically perform um, the, the, the calculation based on the order of operation. So we know division, okay, comes before addition and subtraction. So addition is going to be the last on our list, and division is going to happen first. It's going to go ahead and divide score four by the total number of sco scores. Okay, I forgot, to, I forgot the S. It's going to divide score four by the total number of scores before it adds the result over here to score three, score two, and score one. That's not how to calculate an average. To calculate an average, it's, it's first of all, you divide the, first of all, it's the sum of all the scores. You divide the sum of all the scores first. That's the first thing you do by the total number of scores. And remember, even though this program is going to follow the order of operation to calculate this, this first, we don't want that to happen. We want this to happen first. We want to first of all get the scores first before dividing that the total of all the scores by total number of scores the way we did it at first was was good because we kind of did things separately so we didn't have any issue but if we're doing it all in one line like this we need to make sure that we kind of force this force the scores to all the scores to be added first and then we divide the total of all the scores by the total number of scores and the way we can do that is with parentheses here remember we talked about using parentheses so by doing this now you are calculating all the scores first and then now you are dividing the total of all the scores by the total number of scores, right? 
Because if, if you don't do that, if you leave out the parentheses, then remember you the division is going to happen first. Division is going to uh, take effect first. So it's going to calculate what's on its left and right. It's going to um, divide score four by the total number of scores before adding the scores, score three, score two, and score one to it. But if you add, if you add your parentheses over here, I'm sorry, I'm in my, I'm in my school's library, so there's an announcement here. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear it, but all right. So if we add parentheses, then we are kind of forcing this to happen, forcing the scores to all the scores to be added before we divide by the, by the total number of scores. And then we know that that's how to find an average: the total number of scores divided by the to sorry, the the total score right the total score divided by the total number of scores we know that's going to give us our average so after that we store the result in a variable called average okay I, I hope you get the point just this is a this is a way to kind of enforce the idea that we need parentheses to, uh, to kind of um, we need parentheses in our math expressions to kind of enforce um, certain calculations otherwise we may go we may be off completely and we may not know exactly um, where our where our error is coming from, okay, and this can uh, really mess you up. So it's good it's good to understand uh, where and um, when to use parentheses and when not to. All right. So what, right, right, once we have our um, average, we can go ahead and print it. We can print out average here, or we can say something like, remember, if we are passing different arguments into a print function, but by default they are separated with a space when they are displayed. So we can say something like the average is, and that's going to be the first argument. The second argument is going to be average. So these are two arguments passed into the print function. This is the first argument, separated by a comma. We don't, I don't, I don't necessarily need the space, but it's just there for, so I can see, um, I can, I can kind of uh, clarity for myself, and, you know, for my code. This is the second argument average. So by default, these two arguments are going to be displayed with a space separate in them. So it's going to be displayed as the average is space average. When I run this, it's asking me to enter score one. I enter 20, enter score two, let's say 31, enter score three, 45, enter score four, 34. It's going to add all the all the four scores, get the, get the total, and then now it's going to divide by four, we know I'm dealing with four scores, right? The total of all the scores, which is four. And then hit enter. It says the average is 32.5. We can we can do that. We can even check with our calculator just to just to see. We can so 20 plus 31 plus 45, then plus 34. The total of that is 130. When we divide by four. We get 32.5. We can see that's correct over here. So this is just a way to enforce uh, parentheses and also learn how to calculate an average in general uh, in code. All right. So if if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then. Bye bye.